Hmm. Well, I think part of it is I'm going to take a stab at this from a, from the direction of like hierarchies, because the tribe growing like from an evolutionary standpoint was very hierarchical, hierarchical. So if you're at the top of the hierarchy, you get all the, the best mates, you get all the food, you get all the best sleeping and safety and all the things. Right. And if you're lower down on the hierarchy, then you aren't doing as great. And there was no like objective measure, obviously for our prehistoric ancestors. They just, they kind of knew where they were because they were such a tight knit, little community and they didn't necessarily have ways of communicating who's the best and not the best and these different parameters that it was just kind of like interwoven you knew you knew really accurately where you were on the totem pole based on that like animals are the same way you look at pack animals like wolves they all know where they are they don't have a system of ranking but they know where they rank and then maybe as we became more sophisticated and civilization evolved and we started you know living in large groups like cities now it's very, very difficult to look over and be like, well, how am I objectively? Where am I in the ranking? I don't know anymore. When it was only 15 of us, I knew I was number seven. Now there's 15 million of us. Where am I? So now we have to find artificial ways of measuring that, like money or, or fitness or, you know, like looks. And so we start to create these more objective things where we're like, well, I'm really good at this and this and this, and therefore I'm up, I'm up here. That makes a lot of sense to me. Like, I can actually say, like, okay, I can see how that plays out, but that's my voice. <laughs> as soon as Anthony was saying that, I pictured, um, this happens a lot, and I think I read in a book, it might not be gender specific, but I think the book I was talking about says how women do this a lot, where we enter a room and we find, like, our hierarchical status, like, yep. who's making the most money, who's the prettiest, who's the most fit, who's got the best kids, the best husband, like, we go in, we instantly start analyzing, and that's one of the debilitating things, I think, about women and our relationship with other women right now that we want to try to mend and heal and we can come together and grow together. But we are still doing that, even though now we might be competing, especially with the digital era, with everyone in our state, in our country or in the world. Now we're trying to be the best author, not just out of our town, but out of our country or the world. <laughs> we're all competing. Um, but I still think to rudimentary level, we are still doing that every time we enter a room or a Zoom chat or a book club, we just kind of all of a sudden like analyze, wait, where am I at? <laughs> In Monica